Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we will be uh, driving into lead code problem number 595, big counters. So let's check the uh, problem. So here is the problem statement and we have a table named word uh, which contains information about different countries such as name, continent, area, population and GDP. We need to identify big countries based on the criteria that a country is big if it has an area of at least 3 million square kilometer or a population of at least uh, 25 million. Uh, the word table has five columns. Name, which is uh, Varchar and the primary key for the table. Uh, continent also Varchar, area and population both integers and GDP which is a big int. We are going to write an SQL query that select the name, population and area of countries from the word table where the area is greater than equal to 3 million uh, or the population is greater than or equal to 25 million. Uh, so here's how we can uh, tackle this uh, problem. So first we need to select name, population, area from word where area greater than 30,000 or population greater than yeah uh, and uh, yep so now we can uh, check if our code works so let's run it and yeah the task is accepted so as you can see it's first time I doing this so uh, yeah so this was the input table and as requested we uh, display name population and area so here is select from the tab table word and we uh, use where function with area greater than as uh, in uh, statement of the task 3 million and 25 as for population. So now let's submit uh, the task for unseen cases. And yes, we have solved it successfully. So first time it beats 6% uh, of other solutions. So yeah, uh, somehow not so fast, but um, we uh, did it. So uh, now, yeah, our query is uh, successful. And that uh, concludes our SQL tutorial for today. I hope you found it informative and uh, helpful uh, in getting a grasp of how to use SQL to filter data based on multiple condition. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, until next time, and happy querying. Uh, hello everyone. So let's think of uh, something faster. So now I'm recording the uh, second part because in first uh, my code query a bit just 6% uh, of uh, other codes. So I thought it was a bit too slow and decided to uh, think of something more faster. So I'm uh, making it a uh, part, second part. So yeah. And if you can think, uh, so where with and was uh, too slow. So probably like uh, separating those cases. So uh, above 3 million and above 25 million of population and then making a union might be uh, faster. So let's check uh, if it's faster. So select name population area from word where 
area greater than uh, 4 million uh, union select name population area from world where population greater 25 million so this is a second uh, query so let's run it uh, and yeah so as you can see this query was also accepted but uh, it ran only in 123 milliseconds so those are just milliseconds but for unseen um, test cases uh, so we have uh, still like output correct afghanistan and algeria and let's submit it and see what's uh, happened so yes so now uh, the uh, query beating uh, 53 percent of other queries so uh, yeah it's more efficient way to like use union because then we separate uh, uh, comparison cases and sometime uh, it might result uh, with better more efficient uh, query so uh, yes i hope you like this second uh, part of uh, tweaking uh, the sql query to run faster and yeah i hope uh, you found this uh, video interesting and helpful and grasp additional knowledge how to make uh, SQL query faster with union condition. Uh, if you did, don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to channel for more uh, coding tutorials and uh, happy coding and see you next time.